<laughs> Once upon a time, a few months ago, we decided to build a new chicken coop for our chickens. And this is how that went. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are y'all? We are going to build another chicken coop today. Well, we started on it a little bit yesterday, but we are going to finish it today, hopefully. And uh, we are doing it because we want all of our animals on one side of the house. We're tired of walking to both sides of the house to feed animals and to look for eggs on both sides of the house. It's just getting ridiculous. So we're going to put them all in the same damn coop. Also, the other coop is way too heavy to just move. Oh, yeah, we're not moving it. Yeah. And we're going to we'll integrate tear it apart. Yeah, we're going to integrate our ducks into our chickens as well. So they'll all live in the one coop. They'll still be free Holy range mess. during the day, but they'll all live in the coop in the evenings. That's right. Here goes. All of the goats came to help us work on the Chicken coop. Hey guys, what are you doing? Dino just wants to drink our bottles. Yeah. He doesn't care that it's just water. All right, we got a roof on. All right, we got the front and the back connected and the sides and the back and the roof covered. So we're going to come in with a frame and do a door here and then like a little chicken door and then fence all the way around the rest of it. But we have to bring in stump grinder and get rid of all these stumps. So we are picking up a stump grinder tomorrow and we're gonna grind up all these stumps and then hopefully we'll be able to finish up the chicken coop. We thought that we would get it finished in just the two days, but then we had piglets and then we had to chase lots of little piglets around and all but four of those piglets have now moved on to new homes and are living happy with their new owners. Okay, <laughs> we started this production of a new chicken coop uh, a couple weeks ago. And then got distracted with lots of rains and then piglets and the goats needed new stalls. So we're finally going to come back to this and get it finished up. So today, as you can tell, it already has a back and the side walls. We need to put fencing up along the very top back there. Um, and that's going to be like a vent area. We're going to eventually build an indoor boxed in area, but for now we're going to just leave that completely open. And then we're going to do fencing all over the whole top of this and across the sides of both and then across this front area right here. But this front area, we're going to build a doorway for us and a doorway for the chickens and ducks as well. So. That's what we're going to work on today, guys. All right. As you know, we are notorious for using scrap wood and pallets to build just about anything we need. So I'm over here in our lumber yard looking for just the right pieces to build our door frame and get our coop all finished up. frame done we had to take a lake break it got way too hot up here but so our our 
property is all a hill, so we'll always have to find random ways to level everything up. So we've got some extra pieces here to help pull this front side up since we're just using these canopy frames anyway. They kind of move easily. This leg is a little longer on this side than on this side just so that it kind of helps even it up. And then we're running our frame. And then we're gonna do a door frame and then we're gonna do a tiny little frame over here for our chickens to go in and out. And then we'll wrap it all in fencing and put some uh, roosts back here in the back and some nest boxes and then eventually whenever the heat of the summer is over we'll box that area in and make that a full uh, coop for the winter but we're getting there Tino's trying to help hold the board for us as we connect it and here comes Moo Moo trying to help as well she's gonna dig up the area while we're working. Thank you, Dino. You're gonna be helpful holding the board for me. You're so sweet. Thanks, Moo Moo. We needed that spot dug up. No, you're so silly. We moved the boys out because there's babies in the colony area. And <laughs> Dino's over there like, this is my little awning. <laughs> got the door up and of course the goaties need to come help us do our work. After Dino was done, uh, Buckley decided he needed to check out our post to make sure it was a good scratcher for him. He's gonna be sad because we're cutting it off, <laughs> but he can enjoy it for right now. And Dino needed butt scratches, so after chewing on my phone for a second, I finally decided to allow him to have some rubs because he apparently needed it pretty badly. Oh, you need all the attention. You too, you're just going to eat the board now? Isn't it funny? Goats always look like they have perfect teeth. Look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> what are you doing, Buckley? Huh? <laughs> and then we had baby goats. And lots of other crazy things have happened in between, like flooding and the garden and farmer's market. And, you know, homesteading gets busy. So here's finally the finished job. Alright guys, I didn't film catching the birds because it was getting late, but we got our original chickens, our silky chickens, and all of our ducks <laughs> all in the new coop, which took us a long time to actually get going. Oh my gosh, Dino, quit eating my hair, crazy. Alright, so this is going to be their door, open and shut, but I don't want to open it because we're keeping them cooped for a little while. Then this is our door to get in and out. And then they have a cool little roost up top and Duckingham Palace and a cover on the back half and then it's open on the front half. And everybody will get to hang out together. Although it took us quite a while to finish, it would have only taken us a whole day or maybe two to get the entire thing done all together had we actually had the full amount of time to put towards it. But hopefully you guys liked our new build and liked this video as well. Give us a big thumbs up. 
subscribe down below and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye guys.